Hey everybody, welcome back to Mark Talks. Today I, I, I want to start talking about my my CD collection. It's quite big, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do this in sections, and this is only one section, one row. And I'm just excited to talk about it. Starting off with actually, this is my newest piece that I have with Korn's new album Requiem that came out. Uh, was it two days ago? I picked this up at Barnes and Noble because nobody carries CDs anymore. So picked this up. Um, I think uh, comparing it to, comparing it to the Nothing, I think I liked the Nothing on first listen more. But I've been listening to this pretty much ever since I've heard it. Uh, Forgotten's a good track. So of course the the lead single start the healing. Lost in the grandeur. Um, disconnect I like. Uh, Worse is on its way. There's some Worse on its way, especially that scatting section. Ooh, it's top notch. But um, the the rest of them have to grow on me. So, uh, corns requiem. All right. Next, um, I don't believe I heard this whole thing, but Ramon's brain drain. Really, um. I wanted to start getting into the Ramones, so, and I heard Pit Cemetery, um, so I, it's like, you know, I want to give the Ramones a chance that's not the debut, you know, and since I liked Pet Cemetery, I bought, I bought this, so, Brain Drain by Ramones. Ah, uh, this one, Blood Bass, the, F the Fathomous Mastery, the last one with Michael Ackerfeld on vocals, um, it's pre it's pretty he it's just really heavy stuff here um but i'm really in i really enjoyed it um and then this one comes with the bonus the bonus tracks and i believe it's one of their eps i'm not sure i don't really remember the name uh but overall super heavy michael this is during the era i believe watershed era opeth so his vocals his growls were top notch so this is some really heavy stuff. Um, favorite, probably one of my favorite tracks is "Process of Disillumination," and then "Ice Ice Swiss. And another one, "Hades Rising" is good. This whole album is really good. I totally give it a listen if you're into the Swedish death metal scene. Next one. Um, Actually, three CDs in a row. This is known as the Reality Dream Trilogy from Polish band Riverside. Okay. So this is their debut, Out of Myself. Between the three, I have to give this one more time. This is actually my uh, the most recent act, um, one I, I bought from them. Okay. And I'm actually planning to see Riverside in April in Pomona. So, um, uh, the... The same river uh, I heard is one of the, is one of the better songs. I, that one I have to listen to again. I feel like I didn't get it the first time I heard it. I didn't do it justice. The title track "Out of Myself," "The Current Falls," "Into Minds," solid debut, solid debut. But um, "Rise of Right Now" between the tril the the trilogy, "Second Life Syndrome" is where it's at. Um, all if you've never heard of Riverside, um. They're akin to like a porcupine tree, um, more on the melodic side. There is some, uh, they're not growls, they're not like screaming, but it's kind of like, kind of like that. Uh, but not all the time. The first thing I heard from this group is their title track of this album, Second Life Syndrome. And if you've never heard of Second Life Syndrome, listen to that song right now. It's a 15 minute song, but it's amazing and it's actually one of the songs that that really touched me in like a way and it made me think of my past and it's just it was just an amazing song to listen to a uh, volt face is good conceiving you second life syndrome like all this whole thing check this out riverside's second life syndrome and that's next with riverside's uh the, the third in the trilogy rapid eye movement I really like this whole album too. Not as much 
as Second Life Syndrome, but it's still a good album. Um, not to really talk too much about every particular album, but uh, OT Panic Room is the one I would probably listen to. And some of those lyrics are loosely based on Silent Hill 4, uh, The Room, the video game from PS2, or another things, but I believe it. my brother had it for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm an I'm an Amarth uh, versus the world. Um, this is one of those groups that um, I would like to get into more. Um, I bought this one because I like I like to watch different ranking videos, and this one was pretty high up on most a lot of the, the rate reviewers uh, lists. So I decided to pick this one up. Yeah. So um, and I like the like the death metal bands or the um, thrash like even metal in general have doing with a lot of like mythology or um stories and like um i have nile i just completed my collection of nile and the whole egyptian thing is for me is amazing and it goes perfectly with metal music so this is particularly the reason why i picked up this one all right uh next up is the newest release from failure well, well, type droid. Um, it's good. You know, this one again. I need more time to listen to, um, like Fantastic Planet and and Magnified. I feel like I listen to those more, or waiting for this one. But um, if I were to recommend a song, it'd be Submarines, right? So, um, Failure. They're uh, from like they're like. In my mind, a really uh, criminally unappreciated band um, from the '90s, doing that space space rock, alternative rock thing. So um, yeah, failure. Well, type droid. This one is probably one of the biggest to me, to me, my opinion, um, one of the biggest disappointments, um, and that's Heimstein's, um self-titled album. I bought this one. Obviously, this is like the deluxe pack, right? So, I'm super excited for this. Right? Um, but, Deutschland, Puppe, Nemi Radio. Other than that, I didn't really care for it. And I tried to listen to it time, time and time again, but it never, for me, it never caught on. So, uh, subtitled by Rammstein. Not a CD, um, but um, I don't know if they made a CD for this. Strapping Young Lads, um, for those, a boot to rock. Okay, Strapping Young Lad, uh, the uh, extreme band of Devin Townsend, right? Great DVD, great DVD. Okay, same thing goes with this one. I believe it's a CD too. But this is the um, Hema from Sigros. And it's it's actually like a photo album. And there's like the discs in there. Almost looks like a photo album. Hema meaning home. Okay. And I actually saw Sigros in 2016. Um, obviously when they were still a group. I don't know on the stance of Sigros as we speak. Um, the last I heard was the drummer. There's some accusations about the drummer. So, I don't know the stance of Sigur Rós right now. But, Hema. Okay. And then we have Super Unknown. Soundgarden. Classic, right? Fell on Black Days. Black Hole Sun. Spoon Man. I mean, what else What else do you need? This, this album definitely needs no introduction. Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. All right. We have the newest from Viljarta. The the group, the Thal group, Thal group, Thal group, right? Okay. Pretty, pretty uh, heavy album. I need more time with this one before I can really kind of really talk about it. Um, it's, you have Jint and you have Thal. This is Thal. Another classic album that really needs no introduction. Um, Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy, and the Infinite Sadness. Okay. 
to to just set All right okay next silosis with the cycle of suffering okay um I was this was I bought this after I heard I I sever I was really impressed really really good album um I'd pretty this it's like I sever I really really enjoyed and this whole album I like enjoyed in general um so if you never heard of Silosis I believe uh, I'm not too well versed in like the members and things like that but I believe um the singer of Silosis is the guitar player and architect. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Silosis, Cycle of Suffering. Um, the 20th anniversary edition of Opus Blackwater Park. Oh my God! Uh, I saw Opus this past this past tour when they did with Mastodon, and they played the Draper Falls. And oh my God, amazing! That one section that just that. I believe is in five eight the I can't even even sing it to you, but it's just it's just oh it's short lived. I wish they played that a little longer. But what else is left we have bleak, Drapery Falls, Funeral Portrait, Black of course the title track, Blackwater Park, one of the greatest Opus songs. Twentieth anniversary twentieth anniversary and when I do updates you might see this again, but like the standard version not the 20th anniversary version so this is like a little booklet and inside all right so if you have you see me if you see blackwater park again it's probably just going to be the standard version before this came out okay another classic pantera's cowboys from hell okay um like uh, some of these things i don't even know what to talk about but pan i have it the same thing goes with Pantera, vulgar, vulgar display of power, right? Uh, new level, walk, hostile. I mean, this love. I mean, what classic album, right? A classic cover. This one, I've actually I bought it because I want to complete the collect complete the collection, but I've not heard it yet. Uh, Dillinger Escape Plan with Mike Patton, Irony is a Dead Sea. Okay, so don't have any opinions on it. Classic Prague. We're here with uh, Close to the Edge, yes. Right. Tower Track. Awesome, right. So I'm sure the, the, so many bands that were inspired by this. Bill Bruford. From King Crimson and other projects, and just Rick Wave, Men, <sighs> Chris Squire, this this whole band, right? This whole everything about this album, right? And then we have from that to Insanity, known as Strapping Young Lads Alien. This is a punch in the face. Every single track just hits you, and just I don't know. This one's probably crazier, but this and Strapping Young Lads City, wow. Um, if you're going to listen to this, of course, Love is probably the more uh, one that people listen to more, but Skeksis is the first one that I got into. And I when Devin was doing those live streams, and people voted for Skeksis, and then Gene Hoagland uh, was on drums for that, because he's the only drummer that can, handle, that, could, that, could, that could perform that song. Right, at least do it justice. So, aliens, uh, strapping out lads, alien. Uh, the newest release from Static X Project Project Regeneration Volume One. I actually have the signed. I got a signed edition, and I believe that the um. Because inside it came with something, and it's it's somewhere in this room. But this is the CD. Um, just like not all these songs were the ones, especially with solely with Wayne on it, like Hollow, 
or um, something on my own. And the ones that just have Wayne um, were better than the ones that had snippets of Wayne, like in My Destruction, where he's the only thing that's Wayne is when he says My Destruction, right? So, I saw them when they did the whole Wisconsin Death Trip uh, tour. I saw them twice on that tour, actually. And, yeah. There was some songs in the teaser when they, when they announced that this is this project they're working on. There were some songs that actually didn't make it on here. So, I'm assuming this would be a volume two. Just who knows when. Oh, rest in peace, Amy Winehouse. But what else, what does it say about Amy? Definitely one of my favorites. Um, like R and B, um, fem vocalists, and especially one of my all time favorite female um, artists. <sighs> Gone too soon. This album, I honestly don't even know why I bought it. To be honest. This is Coalesce, There Is Nothing New Under The Sun. Don't know why I have this. And typically I'm the kind of person that that tries to get into groups that I know maybe a few songs, but I would like to expand my horizon. I buy a greatest hits, and I did that with Megadeth. And then I went and bought some real Megadeth albums. I don't think I have any in the stack, but... Um, Holy Wars, Peace Cells... Uh, Tudela 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 Mode, Symphony of Destruction, Mechanics, Train of Consequences, Hangar Eighteen. I mean, what else do you need? And then I saw them at on the was it the Metal Tour of the Year with Lamb of God, and Trivium, and I believe he he yeah he read. Awesome, awesome band live. Uh, now to System of the Down, steal this album. Um, I haven't heard this whole album in years. The only songs that I that really get stuck in my head is like Chicken Stew, Inner Vision, I I E I E A O, and um, A D D. The ne other songs I have, if I listen to this album again, I'll probably have more to say about it. But for now, that's all I gotta say about that one. Again, uh, I don't know why I have this. It totally does not fit my collection, but I believe I got this at a thrift store. I don't know how long ago, but Viva La Vida. That's hence the, the red drawing right here. Thrift store material. Okay. Again, you'll probably see this twice because um, I bought it and then... Christmas, someone else bought it again, so I actually have two copies. The debut from Dillard Escape Plan, Calculating Infinity. Nuts album. Crazy album. Uh, top notch. Um, I don't know, math Corp, if you want to call it that. Uh, I guess I'll just stick with that. I mean, 43% burn, sugar coated sour. The t title track is good. Weekend sex change. Variations of a cocktail. This. Yeah, this whole album. This album, I if I listen to it, I have to listen to it in full. The only song that I could probably listen to despite its own is probably 43% Burnt. But other than that, this has to be listened to in full. Another classic. Typo Negatives, October Rust. Um, Typo Negative became one of my favorite bands of all time. In a rather short period, I feel like the only other band that's done, that has that impact on me is Tool. I heard this band, I want to say early 2020 for the first time. Okay, of course I know they've been around since the 90s, and I know uh, rest in peace, rest in peace, Pete Steele, who passed in 2010. So 10 years later, I think, and uh, luckily better late than ever, because this band is absolutely amazing. Uh, the first song I've ever heard is Love You to Death, and it really spoke to me um, in terms of, like, the emotions and the sadness and the, like, all that. Of course, like, the earlier stuff, um, I have all of the Typo albums, 
um, their earlier stuff, of course, it's, like, more angry, like, slow, deep, and hard, right? You, I know you're, you know, screwing someone else, another lack of a better term, and things, like, just more angry than, than, than this came out, and it's very lush and romantic and things like that, and it's everything that um, Typo did, but my, I guess, I, if I ever, like, rank Typo's albums, I, I don't want to say what my favorite is, but um, this is obviously... For me, probably number two. Okay. Love you to death. My favorite song on here, though, In Praise of Bacchus. Uh, can never get enough of that song. Okay. Typos, October Rust. This is also new. Leprous Cole. Okay. I'm very for checking out new bands and, um, and like trying to give them a chance and i also like to support them buying by via buying physical media and things like that um the reason why this band and why this album is because i heard contaminate me uh i, I think it was a live video with ishan of emperor and it's just it was, it was freaking awesome so i went ahead and i bought this and yeah leper's cold so speaking of black metal, Ishan, but not Ishan, but black metal, I have this box set. Um, last year, I started, to, when I was getting into Emperor, because Emperor was the first black metal band that I started to listen to, um, I wanted to venture out to, because of course, you know, I've talked to people that are more into black metal than me. And Emperor, they said, yeah, like they're they're an amazing band, but you need something more pure black metal. So, um, this guy recommended uh, the guy that probably has a lot of hate uh, because of obviously what you know the past. But we're not here to talk about the past; we're here to talk about the music. And this, I have the first four albums of Burzum, right? So. Um, I don't know if, honestly, I don't know if, like, this box set, like, is, like, because, like, this, like, barcode looks kind of sus, but, um, so it's the first four albums, so you have philo Philosophum, Philo, I can never say that, Philosophum, yeah, right, and then, things in Norwegian, and I'm not, don't speak Norwegian for the life of me, Right, that that one, and then the debut, and uh, debut. This is the debut slash ask, ask. Right, so the first four albums of Burzum. Dunkle Height is amazing. At least, at least give him that. Speaking of Sigaros, their debut Vaughn. Vaughn, 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 yeah. For Hope. Uh, very creepy album. It's very eerie. It's not like Algaitis, Algaitis Birin. My Iceland teacher will probably be mad at me for this pronunciation. But, totally, I feel like this is way darker than, like I said, Algaitis or uh, Tak, things like that. So this is this is one I um, don't listen too often, but you know. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of the stack here. So, speaking of Dream Theater, change of seasons. Um, have not heard this. To be honest with you, I am planning to listen to the title track though. Of course, the rest of this album too. But I would like I like to listen to the big epics first. Just to kind of, I don't know. I like, I'm a fan of long songs. So, change the seasons. We got Arch Spire, Bleed the Future. I heard Bleed the Future. And I heard uh, Drone Corpse Aviator. That's all I needed. The fastest tech death um, I've ever heard. Just insanity. Right? So, stay tech. Arch Spire. Believe the future. 
speaking of new, um, we got Wilderun, Epigon. I heard it sounded like classic Opeth, and I needed it. Check out Passenger. If you're into classic Opeth, um, my like, if I don't want to say my favorite Opeth album, but like Still Life era, Still Life era, you know, what I was doing, my what Michael was doing the growls. Kind of, kind of captured it here in kind of a new way, but still really good. Check out Passenger. Uh, I don't know why I have this. I never liked this album, even then. It when did this come out? Two thousand seven. That's it. Corn's Untitled. Did not care for this album when it came out, to be honest. And I'm a, I'm a really big Corn fan, but no, not this one. I used to like Evolution. Used to. I don't think I can. I don't. I don't really like it no more. So that's good. And then the last four, the last five are from the same band. So we'll just kind of speed through it. I've been kind of talking for a while now, but Slayer's "World Painted Blood," the last with uh, Jeff Hanneman. Um, I believe this the, the classic lineup. I I don't know if Dave is Dave Lombardo on this one, maybe. Um, if not, well, Christ Illusion. <sighs> Great album. And then we got some classics. Season of the Abyss. I saw Slayer, the very last show of their, the last tour they did in, at the Forum, November 30th, 2019. I was there, and that was the first time I seen Slayer. It's, a whole, you know, it's probably the last time I'll see Slayer, but... I was so glad that I, I was able to attend that show. Rain and Blood. Thrash Metal. Masterpiece. Classic. If you're... If you like metal and you like... You know, especially Thrash Metal. This has to be in your collection. It has to. And then finally, the last thing for this... Uh, this uh, part here is Slayer's South of Heaven. Right. Classic album, right? All right, so that's part one of my CD collection. I have a ton more rows to go through, but I just want to start talking about music and start showing you guys what I like to listen to, and um, just kind of share that with you guys. Um, and hopefully, if this you know catches on, and maybe you know it's nice. To see, like, you know, like, oh, that's interesting that you're doing that. Then I'll continue this because I have, I like talking about music. And I just saw, I saw Dream Theater last night at the Microsoft Theater. Great show. But anyways, nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.